Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the rabbit hole, and welcome to the continuation of our best skincare of 2023. Short confession, today's video is indeed the best essences of 2023, which will of course be all K-beauty. But I have to admit, this video is behind in the series because this has been a very difficult video for me to figure out. I have been over here trying to narrow down my best essences for three months at this point. And here's the deal. As always, we have timestamps and links in the description box below if you would like to find out what are the products that made Alice's best essences list. But I also thought it might be really helpful if I kind of talk out why this was such a hard video. Ultimately, what we have going on here is yet another one of these optional skincare steps. And we use that word a lot. I used it in my eye creams video, in my toners video, but what does it really mean to say a step is optional? I feel like in having this conversation, we can also talk out why it is that you sometimes see people say things like, oh, skincare content, it's all about selling you the next big thing. I hate hearing that because I definitely am not trying to do that, and I also feel like none of the channels that I watch are doing that either. I feel like I am trying to share with you what I've tried, hopefully help to narrow down what'll be a better fit for you because there's too much skincare out there, nobody can try it all. And so I appreciate the other creators that I watch that are doing the same thing, sharing honest thoughts, helping to narrow things down. But one of the best ways to narrow things down for you might be to really talk about how this entire category of essences compares to something like toners or serums. So an essence is a step that is often often used between toner and serum. And the reason for that is because of the thinnest to thickest rule, toners tend to be a lot more watery and essences tend to be thicker. And what this means when you apply a toner to your skin, because it is so watery, the water has a real tendency to evaporate. Whereas when you apply an essence to your skin, there's a lot of ingredients in it to make it of this thicker, more viscous consistency so it does not evaporate as quickly. So in the simplest sense, a toner can help with hydrating your skin. This is a hyaluronic acid toner but in essence can hydrate even more, making it an excellent choice for dehydrated skin. Remember, dehydrated skin lacks water, whereas dry skin lacks oil. And then we have some essences that are practically more of serums. You can even tell by the shape and size of the bottle, which obviously could be quite optional if you're already using a well-rounded, complete serum. And then we also have the milky category of essences, which add in a bit more moisture. This is where you actually have more oils. So these are the category that is more beneficial for dry skin types or for people who are looking to avoid adding an additional moisturizer. But how do you figure out which of these steps are for you? Well, let me use myself as an example here. See, I have been talking about toners a lot this year. I'm a big fan of toners, but as a lot of you know, I started using my toners in a very different way this year. I both started using the system of toner pads as well as compressed sheet masks, which means what I just explained to you about how the water evaporates more quickly from a toner, I've been over here negating that by putting a, a physical barrier with the toner. So in this past year, I took my toner step and made it more of an essence step. I made essence redundant in my own routine without necessarily realizing it. You know, I had to sit over here and think through this myself. Without realizing it, I made this step redundant so it is even that much more optional for me at this point. However, I loved this category for a long time, so I still did want to come out with this video for you. I just also wanted to have this chat and, you know, let you all know this is what it means to say something is optional. You too can look at your routine and determine, do I even need this in my routine? Am I meeting all of my needs already with these steps that I have? Will buying an additional product give me more or is it just redundant? Y'all, I have to lose the bell. I keep hearing it. I don't know if the microphone is picking it up. My, uh, my Jenna Marbles too much gene, it may have kicked in a little bit today. I was having fun getting into the holiday spirit. 
And if this conversation isn't making sense so far in terms of figuring out whether you need this step, bear with me because we're gonna talk a lot about that through the whole video. But let's get into it. I wanna start with my pick for sensitive skin. And this is a throwback. I feel like this has made my favorites list so many times. It is none other than the Pyongkang Yule Essence Toner. I'm calling this my pick for sensitive skin because this is such a simplified essence toner. Talk about a low irritant ingredients list. This product doesn't even have niacinamide nor hyaluronic acid, which I know sometimes I see people say, you know, I can't use those and they're in everything. This is a product that has stripped everything down to the basics. It is all about adding in hydration. And in the clip you're about to see, you will see that I added this to those sheet masks that I bought from One Thing in a very recent video. If you missed that video, I talked about how I was buying those so that I could use some of these thicker, more viscous toners or essences along with the sheet mask. But even in the initial video where I talked about these, that's where I had this realization of just how much hydration I delivered into my skin. Because again, you've already got in this essence step ingredients that are more viscous, that are more hydrating by their very nature. When you lock those into your skin with a sheet mask, oh my goodness, such immense hydration. And of course, you don't have to do it this way. You can simply pour the product into your hands. You can use it with toner pads, but no matter what you do with this, you get such intense hydration. With such a low irritant formula, I will say really quickly, keep in mind that if that ingredients list was Americanized, the first ingredient would be water, as that's a requirement for how we do ingredients over here. But regardless, it really is, you know, this is a product that's been popular for years, for years, and I think it's just a product where when you use it, you understand why. We are moving on to my pick for best soothing essence, and it is the Eccentry Onion Essence Toner, which I no longer have. This is the first time this has happened in doing the best skincare of 2023 because these are my favorite products. Of course, I still have them. But I had to include this because I loved this. I finished my entire bottle of this, absolutely adored it, found it to be a deeply soothing product, which is great for my skin type. But what we have here is a great example of redundancy yet again. Why did I not feel the need to repurchase this? Well, because I have favorite soothing toners that I do the DIY mask system that I've now shown you in this video with those very products, which gives me essentially the same effect as this product. So I don't need it anymore, but I still remember just how much this soothed my skin anytime my skin was irritated, if I had any kind of barrier issues going on, this was such a good option. I will also say once again, even though this is the onion line, no, it doesn't smell like onion at all. Remember that onion extract is used in products like Mederma. It is an ingredient that is used to help brighten the skin. So you may be getting a soothing and brightening product all in one. I wouldn't rely on this one for treating hyperpigmentation. Again, I think its strength is soothing, but overall I think it is a very well-rounded product and it's still unique. And you know I love unique. We don't see a lot of onion products. I think because people are nervous that they're going to smell, you know, rough. <laughs> Wonderful product. I think I might, if I can, I'll pick up a mini. I don't know if they've made minis of this, but I, I do sometimes miss it, even though I don't realistically need it. Okay, next category is going to be moisturizing essence. And we've covered the differences here again. This is where you have your oil ingredients, whereas hydrating products are where you have your humectants. And I couldn't pick, I couldn't pick, we have a tie. We have a tie between the Marion May Blackberry Complex and the Dr. Cyrical Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence. It is funny to look at the ingredients of these side by side, which I will put up on the screen, because they are very similar. I think that what it comes down to with these is choose the ingredients that look more ideal for you if you are interested in trying these. I sometimes see people say they can't use fermented ingredients, so the Dr. Cyrical would not be the best idea for you. But a lot of us do well with those ingredients, we see some added brightening, and I would say you get the added brightening with Dr. Cyrical. There is one more difference that I personally did notice, and it might be a me thing, so I will stress that, of course, but for me, the Dr. Cyrical did 
It didn't last as long. It started to smell a little funny. I keep my house more warm, so you may not experience this. Whereas I have not run into that issue with the Marion May. But let me talk about what these do, because again, they are such interesting, unique products. Both of these are products where you have your moisturizing layer and you have your watery layer. And to use these, you shake them up and apply them to your skin because you are getting both hydration as well as moisturizing properties. I personally, to this day, like to do this step after serum. Our skincare routine belongs to each one of us as an individual. We are free to use products in a way that makes most sense to us, in a way that works best for us, that gives us the best results. And I love to do this when my skin is more dry. Oh, in these winter months, adding this step is so helpful as a dry skin type myself. My next pick for best essence is the deepest hydration possible. It is none other than the Mixoon Bean Essence, but this requires an entire conversation every time. <laughs> because again, you know, you know how I like I like a good old unique product. Wow, is this unique? This is like nothing in my entire collection. It also really beats out Pyongyang Yule for the simplest ingredients list. Won't work for everyone, as fermented ingredients don't work for everyone. And these three ingredients come together to make this incredibly sticky and hydrating essence. Remember, there's two ways to apply this. One is that you can use this as an exfoliant, put it on your skin, ball up the product, or you can use it in a very, very thin layer. This makes for such a good product if you are dealing with intense dehydration. If you have ever hit the point where you just keep waking up every morning and your skin feels like it's paper, I don't know if I'm describing this well, but I, I, I've been there. Adding a deeply hydrating product like this, where again, you feel the moisture linger on your skin, it might really be the solution to that problem. I didn't like this at first, and I definitely think a lot of people might not like this either, because it's, it's such a, a sensation on your skin. You really feel it on your skin. But you know what this also means, right? This also means this makes for such a good product to use with any kind of device. If you are tired of those gels that dry up too quickly, new face, new face, I love your device, I hate your gel. All you have to do is put the new face gel on, put a thin layer of this on on top of that, and you can use any device with it. So that's just an added bonus of how to use this. You can, of course, just apply it to your skin. The, the only catch with this is be careful not to forget to do the rest of your skincare routine. I'm somebody who, I, I, I don't have clocks around timing my skincare routine. Instead, I wait until layers dry sometimes, which, you know, I, I can feel that. You, you won't feel this one dry. Truly one of the most unique products I have ever, ever tried. It stands out to me. My final essence for this video, the one I'm calling best overall, who, who can guess it? I am going with the Jumiso Snail and Peptide Essence. But what a funny way to end this video, because if you saw the video where I talked about how I took a month applying this to half my face, and the other half of my face, I applied the V Green Serum, the V Green Nature Mucin Serum. And at the end of the month, my conclusion was they are essentially dupes. They did the same thing for my skin, even though one is an essence and one is a serum. Yes. A serum can be a dupe of an essence or vice versa because again these products have a lot of similarities essences to serums essences to toners but of course the reason why I'm choosing this one in the end is just the price per ounce ratio you get a gigantic bottle of this it is just a little bit less hydrating than that mix soon I talked about this one is very on par in terms of stickiness it dries down a little bit faster, but it gives you a ton of time with your skin feeling very moist. And remember, when you are using these deeply hydrating products, that helps with the absorption of anything you apply on top. So what I personally love to do with this, because you know, it is hard to say how much of those peptides are present in this product. 
So I don't like to rely on it entirely on its own for the peptides, but I do like to use it and then follow with another peptide serum. Because now I'm getting greater absorption of those peptides, and I, I truly believe that I am. Again, we need more research on some of these peptides, but for me, oh, the combination is amazing. The combination is amazing. I love the value of this. I love the formula. So for me, this is currently my favorite essence. So my friends, that brings us to the end of, again, one of my hardest, best of skincare videos I've done. As always, let me know your thoughts. I'm really curious to know what you all think of the redundancy conversation. Where is my, uh, my person who looks for the word of the day? I think it's safe to say it was redundant in this video. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are having a wonderful week. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time.